there friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some simple and delicious breakfast recipes. So I'm going to call myself out. I know that a lot of the videos that we've shared before include oats or smoothies for breakfast. So whether that's like oatmeal and granola or like smoothie bowls. And it's just because I find them really delicious and easy to make. But I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. So today we're going to be making completely different breakfast recipes that are also really simple and easy to make and equally, if not more delicious. So we're going to be making three recipes in today's video. Two of them are savory. One of them is sweet. Let's get started. So for the first recipe, we're going to be making a whipped garlic and herb spread that's essentially a homemade vegan cream cheese. So to a small food processor, we're going to add a 125 gram block of drained and pressed firm tofu. Then we're also going to add in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, half of a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and half of a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we can add some aromatic dried herbs and spices. So we'll add a teaspoon each of dried onion flakes, dried minced garlic, and dried chives, and then finally, a quarter of a teaspoon each of dried dill and salt. Then we're gonna blend this all up until it's nice and smooth, and you can stop to scrape down the sides as you need to. And this is why I love this recipe so much. In like five minutes, we were able to whip up our own homemade vegan cream cheese that's so delicious. And all we have to do now is just toast some bread. Now you can toast it how you normally do, but if you've watched our videos, you know that kind of my favorite way lately to be toasting bread is just with a little bit of oil and on a pan until it gets nice and kind of golden and crunchy on both sides. And that's pretty much it. Now we can already assemble our breakfast. So we're gonna spread a generous amount of the whipped tofu onto our toasted bread. Then you can feel free to top it with a few slices of tomatoes, and then we can add some thinly sliced basil leaves as well. Finish it off with a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Add a small drizzle of olive oil on top too, but this is definitely optional. The whipped tofu has this satisfying creamy texture, and then the spices and herbs make it so flavorful, and it pairs really beautifully with the juicy tomatoes. We've also only just made a small portion of the cream cheese, but you can definitely use the scaling feature on our site if you'd like to, if you wanna make like a bigger batch of it to enjoy throughout the week. For the next recipe, we're making a warm and gooey tahini chocolate and banana wrap. In a small bowl, we're gonna add two tablespoons of a creamy golden tahini. So traditionally, tahini is made by blending together some raw sesame seeds. I personally prefer buying the kind that is made using roasted, lightly roasted sesame seeds, or you could make it yourself too. We do have a recipe for this on the blog, so I'll link that for you below. Or if you wanted, you could substitute it out for another kind of like nut butter, like peanut butter or almond butter, for example. Next, we can add in one tablespoon of maple syrup and we'll also add a tablespoon of Dutch processed cocoa powder. Then we're gonna mix this all together until it's nice and smooth. So this mixture is quite thick and that's okay, that is what we want, but if you'd prefer the consistency to be a little bit thinner, you can always add a little bit of plant milk stir and that should do the trick. Next, we can grab a medium-sized tortilla wrap and spread that chocolatey tahini mixture over top of it all. Whenever you're ready, we can transfer the tortilla to a large pan on medium heat. And while that's heating up, we're gonna thinly slice a banana into strips lengthwise. We can then layer these bananas on top of the tortilla, and then we can sprinkle over top a bit of coarsely chopped roasted hazelnuts as well. When the bottom of the tortilla becomes golden, we'll gently fold the tortilla in half and then press down on it with the back of a spatula. If you'd like, you could also actually roll the tortilla kind of into like a burrito shape and then toast it. And that just makes it like a neater to go option. And now your chocolatey breakfast is already ready to enjoy. Now this meal is delicious just as it is, but if you do feel like jazzing it up, you could always add a sprinkle of powdered sugar or you could top it with some fresh fruit, like some berries, for example. This meal is wholesome enough to enjoy for breakfast, but it honestly feels like you're just eating dessert. Like the combination of chocolate and roasted hazelnuts kind of tastes like Nutella to me. So if you're someone who does appreciate sweeter breakfasts over savory ones, I definitely recommend giving this recipe a try. This next recipe was inspired by Britain's classic beans on toast recipe, but we're gonna actually be elevating the flavors by making our own speedy baked beans. We'll begin by crushing two cloves of garlic into a small bowl, and then we can also add one tablespoon of olive oil. Once everything has been stirred together, we can then brush some of the garlicky oil on top of two large slices of rustic bread. Whenever ready, we can transfer the bread to a pan on medium heat with the garlic side facing down. 
and then we can brush the remaining garlic oil on the top side. While that's toasting away to a saucepan, we're gonna add about 240 grams of navy beans or any small white beans that you like. We're also gonna add a quarter of a cup of tomato paste and a quarter of a cup of water, about half of a crushed vegetable bouillon cube, one tablespoon of chipotle adobo sauce, two teaspoons of maple syrup, and then one teaspoon of ground cumin and half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna give this a stir and cook it just for a few minutes until it's heated through. If you would like to speed this recipe up, you could actually just use like a jar of baked beans and maybe I'd recommend adding like a tablespoon of some chipotle adobo sauce just for a little bit of extra zing. Um, but I feel like if you do make it yourself at home, the flavors are so much more bold and it is a really quick and easy recipe to make. Once the bread is golden on the bottom, we'll just give it a quick flip to toast on the other side as well. And then all that's left is just putting this together. So to our garlicky toasted bread, we're gonna spoon over top the steaming hot beans. I like to serve it with a generous dollop of some plant-based yogurt on top. Here we're just using a thick Greek style yogurt. And then I'd highly recommend adding just a couple of pickled jalapenos as well. I actually wouldn't recommend skipping the jalapenos. They just give such a pleasant burst of sweet, sour, and spicy flavors, all from just the one ingredient. And it just complements the dish so nicely. This meal is perfect for anyone who prefers savory breakfasts. And Robin and I actually even have it for dinner sometimes with some avocado slices on it. So if you're also in the need for like some speedy weeknight meals, then this recipe checks that box as well. And if you'd like even more breakfast recipes, we've done plenty of videos in the past. So I'll link one for you here. I'll link more for you in the description box below. And I'd also like to welcome you, if you haven't already, to click the little bell icon that's next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video and that way you can watch it right away. And that actually also helps to support our channel. So if you haven't clicked it, welcome you to do that now. And thanks so much for hanging with us today. Really appreciate it. Pickle Plans signing off and we'll see you in the next video. So today we're gonna switch it up, share some other breakfast recipes. Mm. So if you don't have, uh, try it on the website. Um, it's, yeah, light and kind. That is first like lightly to, mm. So you can usually um, buy it if you look at just the label at the groceries. <laughs> okay, one more time. I don't think I should have gone from the end. Oh no. You can buy some tahini at the store that's... Okay. Yeah? Thanks so much for hanging with us today. Really appreciate it. Signing off and we'll see you in the next video.